fishyacker.com. The original kayak rigging video series. Hi, I'm John Oost from fishyacker.com and the Ocean Kayak Pro Staff. I get a lot of questions about what type of fish finder they should use and how they should mount it into their kayak for fishing. I just want to give a quick overview of the Humminbird XTH 920P. It's an interchangeable transducer from Humminbird uh, that fits perfectly in the newer model Ocean Kayaks. This transducer unit can either be purchased separately and used on your existing Humminbird fish finder or if you purchase a Humminbird fish finder contact the 1-800 number which actually calls to Alabama tell them you have a kayak and you'd like to swap your transducer out they'll give you a confirmation number and an address send the transducer which came with your Humminbird fish finder to Humminbird and they'll send you the one that you need to mount on these kayaks if you have a later model ocean kayak you'll notice in the bottom it has a recessed scupper hole. Again, for those that aren't familiar with it, these scupper holes are to allow these sit on top kayaks to be self-bailing. So if you take a wave over the bow or over the side, they'll drain. Well, the Ocean Kayaks actually have this recessed scupper hole in the bottom. So when you purchase your Ocean Kayak, you'll notice this. This is where the bottom of that transducer will fit. You'll feed the transducer up from the bottom, feed the wire through, run the nut down, and it'll be ready to go. When you open your transducer package, you'll notice three main items. There's a spacer block that you really don't need, so I set it aside. Your transducer with the cable. They come with a lot more cable than you need because these are also used on power boats. So you're going to have to tuck some of that, that cable inside the hull of the boat. And a nut. So you're going to feed the transducer on, put the cable through the hull, run the, the nut down the cable, onto the trunk of the transducer and tighten it down. If you notice inside your recessed scupper hole, you'll we'll see three little dimples. Those dimples are in there so the kayak can still drain. That scupper hole will still be accessible, still be usable if you have the transducer in place. So water will be able to come down through the scupper hole and then bleed out of the kayak even though the transducer is in place. So sometimes I like to still stop my scupper holes. So if you simply put the transducer in place, you're still going to have a self-bailing kayak. But if you want to use it as a, a stopped up scupper hole, what I do is take a piece of that craft foam, the sticky craft foam you can buy at your local uh, department store. I take it, I trace the shape of the transducer puck on the bottom, cut a hole out in it to fit on top of that pole, on top of the transducer. So that when I put the transducer in place, if I snug that, that nut down on it, it's going to be watertight. So if you're ready to install the, the scupper transducer, simply take the, th the items out of the packaging, take the, the twist tie off, start feeding your cable up through the scupper hole until you can bring the transducer all the way up into the scupper, matching the outline of the, sc the recessed scupper hole. Once you have your transducer in place, it'll look like this. Remember, if you want to get a snug fit on there and be able to seal that scupper hole, use some type of gasket material like that sticky foam. Again, you tighten it all the nut all the way down, you'll have a watertight fit, you'll have a, a, st a stop scupper hole, back it off a little bit, and it'll be able to drain. With your extra cable, you can either run it inside the hull of the boat to get rid of some of the extra cable, or you can stash it inside the hatch. Uh, and again, you can do the same, same things when you're actually mounting the fish finder with your power cord. So you're going to have the end of the transducer cable and your power cord run to your head unit. This is the final underside view of your Ocean Kayak with your Humminbird transducer mounted through the scupper hole. It's a nice, smooth connection. Doesn't stand out much below the hull of the boat. It also gives you accurate reading so you're not shooting through a hole like has been typically common with shooting through holes in kayaks. And also you get a more accurate temperature reading on it. It's a great way to go. So if you have a, a newer model ocean kayak and you want to use a Humminbird fish finder, check it out. <laughs>